Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. So, I know that this is possibly the most dangerous combination of words I can speak, but I've been thinking. All these quests I have lined up to make all these tinker stuff, this is going to take a lot, well that won't take a lot, but these are going to take a lot of these patterns, right? All these things are pretty much going to use a couple of patterns. And the thing that makes the patterns is basically a whole lot of tier 2 tool rods, which are going to require a whole lot of copper rods. These are going to require a lot of hammering, a lot of doing. So I'm thinking maybe instead of following the quest, I should see if I can jump ahead into actually making a proper smeltery. Yeah. So to do that, I'm going to need a mason's workshop and seared bricks. And seared bricks are also made in a mason's workshop with some grout and some glowstone. Glowstone I can just mine in the abyss. Grout, I'm going to need a potter's workshop. So I'm going to need a potter's workshop and a mason's workshop at the very least. Now let's see about the smeltery parts. That requires a mason's workshop and mud bricks. Mud bricks can only be made by casting, though. So I believe that means, and in fact, I think it was actually a part of it. Yeah, I need to make the Tinker's Complement Melter first. At the very least, to make these mud bricks. But that Melter... Yeah, I think that can be arranged. Seared Heater. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously a lot of work to make all this. Can we make glass? Out of anything? Yeah, we can smelt sand in a regular furnace or in a kiln. Alright. Yeah, yeah. So making this melter. And we would obviously have to make a tank to go with it, so another one of these seared tanks. But I'm not seeing anything I really cannot do. So making this mason's workshop. Yeah, that's going to require a little bit of doing. And making this potter's workshop. That's pretty much the same thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a slightly different array. Oh, it needs these dried bricks, too. Well, the dried bricks are simply made on the Tinker's drying rack, and that's relatively easy to make. So, yes, I'm seeing nothing I cannot do here. I'm seeing no reason I can't jump straight to a smelter. And that, or, or rather, maybe not straight to a smelter, but at least to a melter. And what a melter will allow me to do is it'll allow me to simply cast out copper tool rods. Which should make my life much easier. Let's just keep our wood chips in here for now. So, let's... And potters. Yes, because I need the potters for the seared bricks, don't I? No, that's made in masons. What do I need potters for? I need potters for grout. Need the potters workshop for the groot. Alright, so let's make the potters first. That's just going to require another workshop, some more tier twos, some more blank patterns, which I have enough of right now. Let's put this away for the moment. It's mostly useless to us, except as uh, part of crafting bigger and better things. And uh, let's get started working on that. So, first step is we're going to need another workshop. So, let's start with another crafting table. And that's going to need this. It'll be time for another stone axe pretty soon here. Then I believe it will require five and six more. Oh, one of these and a four of those. Like that and like that. Good. And then all it should require is those and that. 
Yes, crafting tables are not all that hard to make, thankfully. Relatively speaking. The furnace is really the one that's hard. So start with that. And then I'm going to need 16 pulp. Yes, because to make that, I'm going to need that, that, and that. Oh, more than 16. In fact, I'm going to need 12 more. There we go. And then I'll just steal it. No, no, let's do it the proper, proper way. And in fact, let's make us another axe so we can just keep the wood chips a-going. It is convenient having them all piled up in one place, even if it means I have to harvest more often. I suppose that un until I figure out a mechanism for automatically harvesting these, I could... I could take some more of the siding away. Now, oh, well, I just finished anyway. In any case, let's harvest our hemp and uh, let's build us a tinder. Good. Finish filling out the field. And just leave that to its own devices. Good. Ah, well. Hmm. Let's see. Need one stack in there. Can put like one stack in there just to have that filled out. Just clearing out space so that I can uh, put these down to put them down to boards to get me some more uh, compressed uh, sticks. Yes. Oh, time for another fire starter. And let's just buy one from Echoing Mist. He should be relatively easy to find. I believe he was wandering around in this area. Yes, there he is. And unfortunately, because of the way custom NPCs work, I need to take my deniers out of the purse. But thankfully, I already have proper change. Do I have proper change for another one? Sure. Just keep it in hand, because it won't last quite as long as the uh, flint and tinder. I could make another flint and steel, but eh. It's a bit less trouble to just buy the fire bows. And they honestly don't last that much less. In any case, um, which one of these are compressed sticks? These? Yes. Well, thankfully I have enough for a tinder just on hand. And that will refill our twine stocks nicely. Just put these on over here. And we can finally complete the first step of the crafting process. There we go. Now I'm going to need 16 of these bricks. No, I'm going to need 20 of these bricks, excuse me. I'm going to need 16 more pulp. Which it's probably time to get with some more pulp cooking. I don't think I can use pulp in... Well, I, I know I can make uh, pulp out of wood chips, but I don't think I can make them out of... No. So if I want to continue the cheapo sugar cane, then I'm going to need to 
use my soaking pots for those. In any case, oh yes, I'm going to need four iron as well. Doop, 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 doop. And there we go. Yes, that is a bit easier to make now that we have access to refractory clay much more easily. And a nice furnace. There we go. And finally, just a tunk to finish it off with a six more wood. And there's our workshop. And that should be the hardest part of the entire craft, more or less, since we have the patterns already on hand. Let's see, we were making the potters, right? Yeah, so that's two glue, two, two, two tier twos. Am I out of glue? Shoot, I'm out of glue. All right. I can make four glue out of that. There we go. So, two, two, three regular bricks, and two, three, four, five, ten, thirteen regular bricks. Or stone bricks, I should say. There we go. Putter. Oh, that's carpenter. Putter. There we go. Easy pleasy. Now, the Potter's Workshop, for most of its recipes, is going to use clay. Yeah, that's looking like... Ooh, that's interesting. Mud bricks. Why would I... Can those be used for anything? Not really. Neat. Yes, I think all of its recipes are going to use clay of one description or another. Making the various colored terracottas, making flower pots... But its most important purpose is going to be simply making lots and lots of grout. So, let's just move our secondary soaking pot since we aren't really using soaking pots much. Let me see if I can find a recipe that's using liquid clay on these. Yeah, uses in soaking pot, it's only for making flint clay. So we technically have no more use for these anymore since it's much more efficient making uh, clay in that. All right, that's one item off the agenda. Next, we are going to need the Mason's Workshop. For that, we're gonna need another set of blank patterns because we're just one short, which is very distressing. I believe that uh, a blank pattern uses nine of these tool rods. Two, three, four, five, and four more is nine, yes. With two, Six, twelve, and four leather. I need more leather. But yes, even with just the melter, because I can make casts using gold, all I need to do is find something that can be cast into a tool rod, which... I think sticks should even work. Let me let me see here. Tool rod cast. Uh, any tool rod, any tool rod. Wooden tool rod, stone tool rod, flint. Mm. I'm not sure if a stick will work. I might need to make a pattern table in order to make a tool or, or a... Yeah, I would need to make a part builder and a stencil table just to make a tool rod. Hmm. Yeah, let's see here. Well, can I make a a tool rod? Oh, actually, let's, let's check. Can tool sticks be used for casting? How about regular old stick? 
Tier one, tier two, compressed. No, okay, so I'm gonna to need to make two more work. I, I'm gonna to need to make two of the tables. I'm gonna to need to make a stencil table and I'm gonna to need to make a part builder before I can use the melter. But uh, once I make those, that will save me tremendously on making the tool rods for all the rest of. Because then I can cast out a tool rod and I can simply melt copper in the melter and then cast out the rods instead of having to hammer each and every one on the anvil. In any case, let's just go and buy some more leather to start getting that done if the game will stop lagging. While I'm passing back, I think I'll check in on the town center and see if they need anything. There's. click it. That cost me a bit of money. Oh well. That should be enough leather to last us for a goodly while. And yes, I was, I was gonna check the town center. Every once in a while, check the town center and see if the villagers are stuck on anything. Hmm. They want 13 iron for something. For upgrading the fort. Okay, neat. Sure, I can swing that. Why not? Make them swank the place up a little bit. Maybe they'll start making tapestries. I forget the exact point that the Normans start building tapestries. Let's just grab 13 iron. And hopefully they'll spend that on upgrading the fort instead of the walls. The walls are a project that requires like 200-ish iron, I think. And they tend to steal iron from other sources trying to complete sections of it. Definitely at one point once you kind of, um, once, once you are able to harvest a good couple of, like, a goodly amount of iron, yeah, 272 to upgrade the village walls to level 2. But I think it'll be claimed by this first. Mm hmm Especially since they don't have the stone for it. I think, yeah, I think they're close to tapping out their adult population, which is why I wanted to complete that torch project to let them sleep, but, uh, oh well. It didn't work out, and we won't be trying again until we have a uh, more stable amount of lives. Yes. Are these done? I think these might be done. Yeah. Getting more than one there. Eventually, when I have that quarter filled, I'll just occasionally harvest it and eat whatever spares it gives me, and that should keep my immunity nice and high. Cycle out the pulp. And... We need it for iron, or for leather, pardon. And that should make us some more patterns. 
There, lovely jubbly. Next, we need another workshop. Well, we know how that goes already. I'm gonna need some more bricks though. I should have brought some cobblestone with me from the village center. What am I full up on? I'm carrying a ton of weight. Oh no wait, that's grams, not kilograms. Silly me. Silly, silly me. Now I should be able to carry three stacks before I'm encumbered to the point I can't move. Yep, almost exactly. I could carry technically seven more. Yep, this is just going to take a moment. And I don't think sprint jumping would help. Nope. The only thing that would help is if I were able to build an aqueduct down back to the base. Or, once I have Tinker's armor... Then I'll have something that'll help a ton. In any case, let's keep one nice stack of cobble in there. Yeah. And let's make the rest into bricks. Just like that. Not sure if I went through one or two pieces of uh, charcoal flake, but it don't matter, really. Away with you. Alright. And that should have us nice and flush with resources again, except possibly for refractory bricks. Do I need to make more refractory bricks? The answer to that is almost always yes. But not for this, I don't. Okay, so... 36... And... 28... And... I'm probably going to get intimately familiar with this crafting chain because of my stubbornness not to uh, steal anything from the villagers. Okay, next I'm going to need 20 of these, 4 of these, 16 of these, and uh, go. And finally, just three more of these, S five of these, and that's the hard part done. Yeah. 
Yes, with with three of the slabs removed, this thing builds up quite a nice stockpile of wood chips that are in a nice convenient format for us to simply whack down good. And with that we might be able to make a decent pile of pulp too. You know, except we're out of water. We're always out of something. simply deplete that bucket and we've got a nice supply. And we should still have some in storage. No, did we have... Ah, there we go. Good. Yes, where was I? Uh, I think I was starting on the crafting table section of things. Yes. There. And then... Five of those, four of those, six more of those before I forget, and one of those. Excellent. And then it's just going to need one of these, seven of those. And now you're seeing that uh, all the work I put into just kind of assembling this storage and crafting assembly, it, 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 is, it is paying dividends, saving me a bit of time since I can very easily find all my stuff. I think this will be even faster than me rooting around in a bunch of chests. In any case, next we're gonna need two of those. Oh, we're gonna need, we're gonna need the dried bricks from, uh, this. So we need two tier twos and we're out of tier two tool sticks. Of course. Well, time to go hunt down some more copper. Because I'm going to want to do them in pretty big batches. It says another thing. I think the melter, like, um, no, it doesn't or double, I don't think. Yeah. The smelter, I think, does. But I could be misremembering. In any case, we, we'd rarely be using ore in any way. We'd be using blocks of metal from the ships. But let's just hunt down some copper. It's thankfully pretty distinctive. Distinctive and relatively plentiful. We're even getting a little bit of extras in the form of glowstone and the like. I don't think I can use this yet. Ah. But while I can't technically use this, if I find a way to input it into a melter, then it'll still serve, I think. Oh dear. That's unfortunate. Not gonna deal with that at the moment. very nearly loaded up with what should be a fairly good harvest. Oh, let's keep on going because we can move quickly underwater. The only inconvenience is our view is a little bit more zoomed in.
So let's keep on going until our body heat is nice and low. Which it already is. Isn't life grand? Pretty soon my view will be even more zoomed in and that'll actually be an inconvenience. So I think I'll call that the point that I return. Yes, and obviously taking from these walls is easy pickings, but it's kind of slim pickings. We, I, I'm gonna have to hope that this lasts until I can achieve a melter. Well, and there goes our body heat. But we should be able to get back before it becomes a super big problem. And let's just eat a little bit of tripe just to keep our health up. Be very, very cautious right now. Just because life is precious at the moment. Ah, that's right. When I get up on land, the weight becomes a problem. Well, just gonna have to hop scotch it on over. If it would realize that I am in fact not overburdened, that, that would be helpful. Yes. As buggy as the uh, as the weight system is sometimes, I feel no guilt in exploiting the hell out of the workarounds for it. Simply because of how much of a pain it is when it is constantly like zooming in your view and doesn't realize when you've offloaded things all the time and just in general is a bit of a messy a messy messy thing. Hmm. Is that in it all? No, it's only kind of a decor block. Thought I was building up more eggs than that. In any case. Alright, I need to make a the copper. go. And there we are. Now let's just set up a nice batch of 20 of these because I have five slots. Grab a bit of coal. And let's get this thing going. Ah. I do, in fact, need a fire starter. Fire bow don't work on that. Well, shoot. Okay. That's not too much of a problem. So, two of those, two of those, two tier ones, a flint, and an iron ore. Thankfully, I did keep some iron ore on hand. Two of those, two of those. Two tier ones. And a stone brick. Truly unfortunate that the fire bow don't work for that, but oh well. Hmm. And it looks like the flint and steel takes no durability damage from lighting a fire on the charcoal pit, so let me just keep that there as my charcoal pit lighter and 
use up this for now. So that'll be a little while heating up. I guess while that's heating up, I can work on another batch of refractory clay, because I'm going to need that. You're always going to need a refractory clay. I need more limestone. And thankfully, now we can hunt down the light-colored limestone. In fact, I think I had some in my little dicky pit. I don't need to go all the way out. Yeah, that's what I'm after right there. Limestone. Little extra copper couldn't hurt. And let's just, uh, am I wheeling my flashlight? No. So turn F7 mode on just to keep tabs on the light level because we can remedy that now too. Isn't life lovely? And this limestone weighs next to nothing too, so I can bring in tons of it. Digging up some granite was just as a building block so I can take these out. Mm-hmm. And that should be a supply that'll last us for a good while. make 16 of it. That'll make me two stacks of quicklime, hopefully. With losses. But I also think I have some uh, yeah, I have some lime in there. So we'll have to see. How's this doing? Not yet. So, let's quicken our lime. So fast now. Wonderful stuff. There we go. And I think I should be able to just say uses on here, and yeah, it defaults to the correct table. Okay. Now all I need is to make some, uh, some clay. Let's, in fact, get a little bit more clay on the burner. And, in fact, I think that uh, liquid clay is one of those things that... Yeah... The refractory does not help you out with. All it'll do is stop the burn when the, uh, it, it, it'll prevent you from wasting fuel. It won't actually give you any more efficiency. So, to my knowledge, I don't think there is any reason to make a refractory crucible, is there? Is it used for anything? It can be, it can be used to make lava. Can you make lava in a regular? No. 
So you, you need a refractory crucible to make lava. And yeah, it's really not, it's the least useful of the refractory devices, I think. Yes, I wanted these boards so that I could just have some stacks of compressed sticks for the chest. Now, right, I need clay balls. So, hmm, that should be slightly more than a stack. And I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a pickaxe. There we are. But I'm going to want well more than a stack of dust just to ensure that I get a uh, at least a stack. The even the uneven conversion ratio on this, where it goes in 25s instead of something divisible by 8. So distressing. Well. You know, I suppose I should be using this iron hammer just because it'll disappear first. Just to get rid of it. Get a nice collection of dust. Yes, make me lots and lots of refractory balls. There. Oh, I'm out of tripe. Where did I put it? There did I put it. Tripe, always a lovely purchase. In any case, Yes, there we go. And there we are, four stacks of clay balls. Oof. No, we're out of liquid clay, in fact. But a nice stack of clay balls and two stacks of these, and that will be a nice collection for us to keep use of. Eh, let's... Yeah, let's make these all into bricks and keep one stack of lumps just for making glue. Clay balls for making more slime if needed. Yes, a nice, a nice diverse panoply of various refractory products. And there we are. And I would be shocked if my copper wasn't heated up by now. I probably left it for far, far too long. Not that it particularly matters. Do that a charcoal just a to... oh dear. It must have burned down at the exact moment. Why, you know. Oh, and it cooled down so much in that time. That's tragic. Hmm. You know, I probably shouldn't have been throwing out the piles of sand. I should have been storing them up in the blocks until I had at least a stack, because I'm going to need quite a lot to make grout. 
I think the majority of grout is sand. No, it uses little sand. It's the gravel that's going to take a ton. And for that, I'm just going to need regular old pebbles, I think. Are these andesite? No, those are stone. Okay, yeah. And eight of those will make me some gravel. I need to replenish my flint anyway, so going and uh, getting a bunch more pebbles isn't too much of a chore. Alternately, as I believe I uh, unintentionally showed, you can uh, make cobbled, like I could make cobbled granite and then place it and break the granite with a pickaxe and that should get me pebbles too. In mass. In any case. Shoot. Uh, yep, I screwed that one up. Almost run out of diamond hammer. Yeah, just get rid of that. I'm going to pray a little bit that that is enough copper tool rods for me to get a melter together. Mm. Oh, that's... I don't need a parts table after all. All I need is one of these copper tool rods. I can make a cast out of those. Yeah. Yeah. Obvious solution is obvious. Okay, so I would need 36 tier 1 tool rods, I think. There. I need refractory balls. Good thing I just made some. Okay. So, after that aggravation, we should now be able to, easy as you please, you just make ourselves a drying rack. I... yeah, I'm just gonna make one. Because we are conserving each and every single one of these precious, precious tool sticks. And on this, in order to make the bricks that we're gonna need, these dried bricks, I just need to put clay balls on. And I think... It's going to take two minutes per. Maybe I should make more. Eh, two minutes is six minutes in total. Hmm. And that's presuming I'm on the ball f catching it. Um, I guess I'll... Hmm. You know, I probably should have made the Mason's Workshop first since... That's what I need for the grout, isn't it? Yeah. No, that's potters. That is potters. So I can start working on that. It's 
Let's get some more clay on the burner. Excellent. And once this clay ball turns, I will go and start I will uh, hunting some pebbles to turn into gravel. That sounds like a plan. Well, actually, I could just take this cobble. Five, six, seven, eight. And I believe each one of these should turn into... Yeah. Not necessarily nine. I was hoping for a nice even nine, but it looks like it's a random factor. And sometimes it drops the cobble itself. But this is a nice fast way of getting yourself a, uh, a collection of pebbles in which to turn to gravel. Especially since we can just buy more from the Normans. And I don't think that's anywhere close to enough, is it? Let's see, Groot. Two, three, four, five, ten, three, sixteen. Exactly enough, in fact. Wow. Okay. Let's one, two, three, four. I have some glue on me already, but I need to make more because um, because I will need it for the for the mason's workshop too. Yes. So, all right, ah, two more, four more rather, clay balls. Oh, and it needs these tools as well, derp. It needs tools, never mind. Well, you know, that's a thing to do while these are cooking. Make tools for that. Let's just put these away. Yeah, that's a plan. All right, so it needs a trowel. Already trowel. It's going to need two tool rods, a bunch of durable twine, and a bunch of diamonds. Let's just take a stack of our twine and turn it into durable stuff. There we go. So, diamond trool. I might have to make a trip to the abyss or to my mining platform for more diamonds. The current mining spot would be closer and probably safer. Okay. Groot is going to need a sifter. That is just, oh, so many. Two, three, four, five, ten, sixteen. Sixteen, that hurts. That's a low blow. That's just, that's just hateful. That's a war crime. But needs must. And finally, one, two, three, four of those. with more diamond and more twine, of course. For the artisan groover. I 
Oh, and two. Two of those. Oof. Hold up, tool rods, hold up. In any case, we almost have the bricks we need. We almost have a game that doesn't lag. Let me see, stuff in the Mason's Workshop, does it use those same tools? Almost. We can steal the hammer and we can... Uh, what is a mortar going to cost? Just tool tool rods, okay. Okay, this might still be possible. Because I think to make the seared bricks I'm going to need all three of those, aren't I? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so all we need to make is the mortar. We can steal the tools from other sources. Okay, it's still on the menu. It's still plausible. Oh. In fact, I think we might have exactly enough. Oh, dear lord. In any case, let's make that Groot. Play ball. There we are. Yeah, I need to do another trip to the abyss anyway to get some glowstone. That's a good point. In any case, let's start getting ready to make the potter, the mason, excuse me. Mason, two, three, four, five, ten, thirteen. Four of those, two of those, and three of those. Mason. And with that, we are officially past the era of clay soaking pots. Isn't it a pretty little fountain? More. I want these things to be relatively full up. Okay, and uh, yeah, let's put these away somewhere just for now. Put these somewhere because they're say they're precious. Ish. What quest have I completed? I completed a drying rack. It says I have three. Oh, that says I have three rewards. Der. Yeah, cross timber frames. And sure, refractory bricks. I won't say no to. In any case, let's hop on over to the abyss really quickly. Let's grab the fancy pick. Just to pick up some diamonds, maybe. Just while we're in the area. All right. And here's a nice bundle of glowstone for us. One must be careful because these things contain germs, I think. All right.
They're also, they don't weigh nothing. And yes, they, ha they have a few uses, most of which will be unfamiliar to us at the moment. Those glow balls, I think, are a throwable light source. Yes. Quite a lovely number of uses for this stuff. Let's try and get us a stack of it for now. Ah, yes. We've caught, uh, we've caught glowstoneitis, whatever it's called. We're now glowing. I don't know if it has any other effect on us. And yeah, let's pick up some diamond while we're here. There we are. And let's leave the glowstone on the ship, just to keep it lit up and pretty. Let's fill out the rest of our pack with a bit more glowstone, and let's head home. It would appear that I put that crafting table in possibly the wrong spot. Oh well. Oh, that's right, that's a hammer. Yes, keep our supplies nice and healthy. And let's glowify our grout. Oh, that's right, I need to make the mortar. Need the mortar combat. So, arty mortar. It's just gonna require two sticks, a bunch of glue. Need 20 for that. 20 for that. There we go. My last two sticks. We really are betting a lot on this working. Bunch of diamonds, bunch of twine. Mortar. And just like that, hopefully, we have now unlocked the means to skip a good portion of the grind. Because we can take this. All right. Mortar. In the because this is in the masons, right? Yes. So mortar. Mortar, trowel, and hammer. Hammer from Zah. Trull from there. Now finally, we can do that. And good. And with that, we've now unlocked the ability to start making some nice things. So yes, I'm going to need a lot of these, obviously. I'm going to need to make some of those. I'm going to need to... I'm going to need to make a lot of things. Yes, yes, yes. But... I do think I technically have all my prerequisites done. All that is going to be now is it's going to be grinding up a bunch more a bunch more um, grout in order to make the melter. So, I think that even though I've only completed the one quest, I've made myself enough infrastructure that skipping 
forwarding quests is going to be a lot easier now. And, and you see, most of these quests are things like, yeah, it, I'll, I'll just need to pick my tables up and show it to the quest book. So I'm not really losing any future progress here. I'm just, I'm just going to make making all my tool rods a lot easier pretty quickly here. So we've got the uh, we've got the first part of making a melter down. This lovely little assembly here, the final form of our crucible furnace, probably. And I think that's a good place to call it an evening. So, oh dear. Yeah, this is what happens when you're glowing, I guess. I've ascended to a being of energy. I'll just, I'll just have fun with this for a while, I think, and uh, you have yourself a lovely evening. <laughs>